boys and girls, and welcome to the first of our weekly science experiments. So this week, instead of doing a read aloud every day, I thought we would do a different science experiment. If you'd like to try at home, we will go over what you need, okay? So Olivia is helping me out today. Definitely going to need a plate. I hope this is big enough. Um, you're going to need something to kind of make your volcano stand up. So we have glasses that we turned upside down. These are for cupcakes. You can use any little container. That's going to go on the top, okay? Then, we didn't have enough Play-Doh, but you can use Play-Doh to kind of like build up your volcano if you want. We are using brown paper. So we're just going to fold it around our cup, tape it in the back, kind of make a volcano. I know it's kind of standing up, so it looks like a tube, but it works. Okay, next, you're going to need some baking soda, and you're going to want to pour that in so it fills, woo, pretty good at the top there. Go ahead. Okay, then, so the baking soda is going to react, it's going to mix with vinegar. If you got Easter eggs, you probably, this is why we have vinegar, or you might just have some at home anyway. All right, we want to make ours colorful, so we are pouring it into a glass. And then we have some food dye, and we're putting in some drops. Ooh, I chose purple, and it is really dark, as you can see. You can mix that up slowly. Olivia's using blue. Very cool. Okay, now once we pour the vinegar with the baking soda, it should bubble up and let's see what happens. Ready? One, two, three. Woo! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Olivia poured all her vinegar on. <laughs> that is pretty cool. So you could go ahead and do that. or be a little more cautious, but it's up to you. Okay, there you go. So one more time, you're going to need baking soda and vinegar. That was a really cool reaction. Thanks for joining us. I'll see you tomorrow for another experiment. Bye.